so many flavors, and y'all got to be salty. Choose salt every time. Well, I was about to make a video on um, the uh, institutionalized narcissism, uh, institutionalized gases, gaslighting video that a comment was put in there by a, by a college kid. And it was just ridiculous. And I'm like, I was going to make a video in response to it. And I'm like, why? They're never going to listen. He's giving me what his college professor is saying. And it's... Uh, it's ridiculous. So then I started reading down in the comments again, and I don't know how I missed it, but I guess, speaking of salt, guess who made another goddamn appearance? And it doesn't matter how many times you change your name, me, because you post at the same fucking time every, every, time, every time. And you have the same exact writing style every time, and it's obvious it's you. Uh, this time, um, he wanted to post under Robert Kelly, Ph.D. So let's have some fun. You actually have accepted money from a woman asking for help to go on a political rant. It was actually fascinating to watch. I don't know what your parents did to you. Yeah, you do, Brian. <laughs> nice try. Oh, well, I guess it's not him. Oh, shit, I'm wrong. Oh, wait, wait, he said, I guess your parent uh, can't be him. God, you're dumb. You gotta be the stupidest motherfucker that ever... I mean, you are really fucking dumb. But you are severely and deeply damaged. Wow, I haven't heard you say that a million times already. Wow, wow. Can't believe the parallel writing here. You literally took money from a person in need looking for help and made it made it about you. No, I physically took the money. Literal is writing, you dumb fuck. You know, this is a problem I keep going into that a lot of us YouTubers are having with these people who come in and see that people are willing to pay for our thoughts and our content, it, they, they can't wrap their fucking heads around it. They can't wrap their heads around it because they are so fucking blinded by jealousy. They don't get, they can't get it. I must be stealing from this people. It must be some sort of scam. Doesn't matter that the whole fucking platform is meant for you to be able to take private donations that this is what they want. Okay, put aside the uh, the the, the uh, subscriber thing. What's going on? I'm hoping that will clear itself up. It always goes to the same things. It always goes to the same theme, which knows just tells me I know it's driving you fucking crazy. I'll be honest with you, Bri. I'll give you this one. I'll give you this one, dude. I was I am. So fucking depressed right now. Like it's it's devastating how depressed I am right now over just not being able to talk to Aaron and all this other bullshit. Okay, but this just fucking just starts the fuse again. This just fucking lights the fuse every goddamn time because you are just fucking dumb. Do you want to know why you're dumb? Because you keep hucking rocks at the tiger, and eventually the tiger is going to get out of his cage. Stop waking the goddamn tiger, and you'll stop getting fucking mauled. I know you don't like it, Bri. I know it drives you crazy. I hear about all your fucking rantings. I know what it's doing to you. I know it. So if you don't want it to continue, stop hucking rocks at me. But I know you won't. I know you can't. I know you physically can't stop doing this. So this is going to continue over and over and over again. So be it. So be it. Because if you're going to keep my daughter away from me and brainwash her and make her hate me, then me knowing the level of insanity this channel causes you, you know what? Might as well. You might as well enjoy the little victories, I suppose. But this really isn't a little victory, is it?
it's a bigger, it's a big one. But my own fucked up head can never see it. And that's my dysfunction. And that's why people watch. And that's why I keep telling you this. That's why people watch. That's why people support me. That's why people pay me. Because they want to see the content and they want to see what I'm doing. Because they want to hear what I have to say. This woman wrote a letter specifically talking about 9-11. Brought it to me to analyze and pay for it. Why? She already knows I were was there. I worked there. She wants my perspective. I'm not bringing... Sure, I, you know what? I do bring myself into it because that's why people come and talk to me. Because they understand I've been through things. They understand I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And when I put myself in a situation for somebody, it's to make it relatable to them. To make them understand that you, motherfucker, the way you act, you ain't fucking special. Just like the people who abuse them, they aren't fucking special. You're all the fucking same. That's what you don't get. Or maybe you do, and that's why you continue to do this shit. You saw contributions and then in an obvious state of delirious mania, put yourself into 9-11. I was there, motherfucker. I was there while you were sitting down the fucking shore jerking your dick. I was the one traveling into that city for the next three years, smelling the bodies burning. So don't talk about where I put myself in regards to 9-11. She came to me talking about 9-11 for a fucking reason. What, what kind of helper would I be if I don't put, give my personal... Per, do you not understand? So you still don't understand why these people talk to me, do you? Do you? You just think I'm sitting here, as you said, manipulating a bunch of stupid women. A bunch of dumb broads. A bunch of dumb bitches. Your words, not mine. Your repeated words. Unbelievable. You actually took one of your country's worst days in history and inserted yourself on how you were in the thick of it and how you had a job to do protecting. My God, man, you are not well. I was the director of fucking security for the largest department store in the world. Or second, if Harris, I think Harris. One of the major landmarks in New York City. Do you see any, I can see you still getting your fucking gaslighting, don't you? You still get in your fucking gaslighting, don't you? Don't you? What do you think I went in there and did every day? What did you think? I worked there for five. I went to that building for five years. So what did I do all day, Brian? What was I doing? Didn't matter what I would have done. Because if I was doing it, can't be anything worth doing. It can't be that I was fucking charged to protect one of the largest landmarks in the world. Not alone. I never said it was alone. There were other executives and other teammates. But I had fucking main, main floor Broadway. I had the biggest chunk. I had the most vulnerable chunk. 
So don't tell me about where I'm putting myself into in regards to 9-11. Cunt face. Amazing. You accepted money from an abuse victim and then went off on how the university is. So? You still hung up on that money, Bri. I get it. You'll never accept this. No, you'll never accept it. Not only do I get that, everybody who watches you gets it. But could it perhaps be your own self-loathing, your own failures in life, your own insecurities that have you in front of a computer screen, begging for money from people that need help? Huh. Begging for money again. Where are all the anti Ali Matthew, Ali Matthew who's written me off videos? Where are all the Ali Matthews is a scam videos? Where are they? I mean, you can easily count up how many videos are with contribution, and it's a lot of them. And I don't know what you think I'm making here, but I mean, who knows what you think? Who knows what you think? But if I'm this scammer and I'm this girl, where, where, where are all the complaints? Now I've had a few people unhappy. Two, 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 three, two or three at most of videos I made. And the one, the last two were very recent. You know what? It is only two. It's only two and they are very recent. And the first one was because the person wrote me, the, I think it was like a 17 page letter and left the name in there. And even though I told everybody, don't put real names in there if you don't want them read. I mean, they flipped out and said, I want to take it. And that was an hour and a half long video. That was one. And the other one was somebody else who just didn't agree with what I didn't want to accept what I was, what I was telling them. Didn't want to accept it. Didn't want to accept it. Didn't. That's going to happen. Out of the people I've helped, and it's hundreds of them, hundreds of them, maybe, th I don't know, thousands of people, of course, people who I direct, let's just say, people who have given, given and contributed to the channel. So, so they can see the channel succeed for me to read their story for them. Okay? The people who have contributed to the channel, maybe... It's a couple hundred easily of the people who have given me direct, who have directly con contributed to this channel is a couple hundred people. And the people who correspond with me and tell me I've saved their lives, how good. It's a well over a thousand. Well over a thousand. You find me a therapist, and I'm not telling anybody not to go to therapy, so don't go there. You find any therapist, any doctor, Anybody who can help people like that. And I'm not saying I'm better or worse. I have an advantage of, of capitalizing on this platform. And it works because I was raised, because I have something to talk about. And I have something to talk about because I was raised by narcissistic animals like you and your wife. So in a way, thank you. But, you know, I would give this all up. I would give the, the like, I would give this up in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. To forget you ever existed. All of you. And to have my daughter back. Gaslight right to the end. Gaslight right to the end. That's all you are focused on. Is that I'm making money. Doesn't matter what amount it is. You want to see me unemployed, broke, homeless. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? But you don't even attack videos where I go after you directly. You go after videos where I'm trying to help other people.
And that what what makes you really fucking damaged. Damaged goods. And I can only pray. Not pray. Hope. That if Aaron ever does figure this out, that I can somehow fix the damage caused by you and your wife and my ex-wife. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs>